Good morning and welcome to live coverage of the 2017 Total BWF World Championships. We're in Sc Scotland at the wonderful city of Glasgow, renowned for its style, culture and friendliness of its some 600,000 Glaswegians. I'm Bobby Griffin and you join us in the Emirates Arena, the same venue used for the 2014 Commonwealth Games to bring you day two of World Championships action. Players from 43 different nations converge here in Glasgow over these seven days in the usual straight knockout format of the World Championships. And we've got six fantastic matches to start with here. Live court one action, and we're going to kick things off with mixed doubles. Chang Ko Chi and Chang Sin Tian take on Li Chen He and Chao Hoi Wa, the number 10 seeds. In the women's singles, we see the world junior champion from China, Chen Yu Fei, our number nine seed, facing Pai Yu Po from Chinese Taipei. In the men's singles, Bryce Levedez from France will be looking to relive some of the form he was in in last year's Denmark Open as today once again he's facing the triple Olympic silver medalist and three-time World Championships runner-up Lee Chong Wei. The darlings of English badminton Chris and Gabby Adcock, the number five seeds, are in action in the mixed doubles. They're drawn against Bastien Carsaudi and Leah Palermo from France. We've more mixed doubles action with Seng Ming Hao and Hu Ling Feng from Chinese Taipei. They've got the unenviable task of taking on the current Olympic champions and former world champions from Indonesia, Tontawi Ahmed and Liliana Natsia, the number three seeds. And in the women's singles, the former world junior champion and our number one seed, Akani Yamaguchi from Japan, has tough opposition in Denmark's Lena Kersvelt. So let's take a look at that mixed doubles draw. This is the top section of the mixed doubles draw and the winner of this match today likely to go on potential matchup against Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Pedersen, perhaps the number six seeds from Denmark. Let's see if that unfolds for us today. I am very pleased to be joined in the commentary box by a former head coach, Babington Denmark, Mr. Steen Pedersen. Steen, what are your thoughts on this week so far? Yeah, we got off to a, a good start yesterday. Uh, some matches uh, were really, really interesting. We had drama in uh, the mixed doubles, and I think today the schedule is only looking uh, even more appetizing. Yeah, absolutely, Steen. Six fantastic matches coming straight to you live from the Emirates Arena. Let's take a look at this first uh, match and the all-important toss of the coin. So it looks as though the pair from Chinese Taipei will be starting the match at the bottom of your screens nearest us on court. Let's take a look at our players. First up, Chang Sin Tian, the 21-year-old from Taipei City. Currently ranked 39 in the world with her partner. Not too far away from their career high ranking of 28. That was back in April this year, just a few months ago. So pretty much on top form coming into these World Championships, her partner, Chang Ko Chi, also 21 years of age. Also from Taipei City, these two know each other quite well. They've been playing junior badminton for some years. And they've got top, tough opposition today. They came through round one yesterday, as you may have seen. It was a really tough match against Maas and Van der Aar from the Netherlands. It took an hour 
It went right down to the wire. They might be showing some signs of fatigue here in this round two match. We'll soon see. Our pair from Hong Kong then, Chow Hoi Wa, 31 years of age, very experienced player. Currently ranked number 13 in the world with her partner Lee Chen Hai. They've been up at number six previously. That was about three years ago, the Let summer of 2014. Spray. There is Lee Chen Hai, the 23-year-old from Hong Kong. Former world junior champion, I believe, Lee Chen Hai. Very accomplished player at just 23 years of age. And being seeded, they had a bye through round one yesterday and coming straight through into round two today. That's our umpire from Thailand, Mr. Thanua Karapat. He's supported today by his service judge, Susan Taylor from Austria. Ready? So the last time these two pairs have met in competition, the Asian Championships, just a couple of months ago. Currently, the pair from Hong Kong lead that head-to-head 2-0. -head that last meeting was straight games. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ko Chi Chang and Chen Chien Chang, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Li Shen He, Li Nakke, and Ho Yu Wa, Hong Kong, China. Chow Hui Wa to serve to Ko Chi Chang. Love all, play. So it's. Chow Hoi Wa, that's going to get play underway for Hong Kong with the opening serve. So it's over. One all. So what do you think, Steen? Have you seen Lee Chun Hei play before in particular? He's certainly one of the players that I've noted. Yeah. Knocking around high-level badminton for some time. So yeah, I've seen them two, uh, one. when they won the uh, Australian Open. Uh, you have to check whether it was 2015 or 2016. Oh. Um, but they definitely played so a fantastic over. tournament there. Two, oh. It's been a little bit more quiet around them since then. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they've had that Asian Championship semi-final result earlier this year, perhaps one of their best performances we've seen for some time from this mixed doubles pair. Slice from Lee Chun Hai just coming across the body of Chang Sintian. It was 2015 when they won the uh, Australian Open and uh, played some really, really uh, good tournaments, were in the semi final of the uh, Super Series finals as well. So, uh, a very capable mixed doubles pair in that case. Chatting with one of my own badminton coaches last night about this guy, and um, so it's over. Three, they're about the similar five. age. I think he's 23 years of age. Lee Chun Hei. And they seem to recall very competent player throughout World Juniors. Extremely fast and powerful. In this. Uh, Movement, uh, really, really uh, strong legs. Yes, yeah, a great technique, technical, the technicality of some of those backhand drives. Just watching him there. 
Yeah, very early onto that forehand. Service over, six, three. And yes, Dean, at um, 23 years of age, he would have been just 19 or perhaps 20 when they are up at that career high of number six in the world. I mean, for a 19 or 20 year old to get up to number six in the world, he, over. he must Seven. have really landed oh. onto the senior circuit with, a, with some real impact. Yeah, strong player. And of course, uh, Olympic participant in, um, in Rio. Yeah, that's right. I think I remember that group. They were um, they were up against it in that group. I think so didn't they have Zhang Yinlei and Zhang Nan and yeah, and probably Jordan and Davis Santo lost those two matches. And wow, one. Um, against Fuchs and Michels of uh, Germany. Okay. Difficult for them, of course. Groups of four, two would have gone through. So Susanto and Jordan, and then the world number ones at the time. Yeah. Shame for them to not have a slightly easier draw. But here we are, another major tournament, the World Championships, perhaps. This draw here this week might be a little more kind to them. beaten this pair twice so should should be able to um, to pull so through in my opinion but uh, nine, but let's see what the, the two changs can um, can do here tall player chunk oh, a bit of luck from the net cord Ten. The Chao Hoi Wa. Yeah, they had a tough match yesterday, Steen. That um, opener in round one against uh, Yele Mas and Imke van der Aar. An unbelievable scoreline, really, yesterday. They, they won the first 23-21, lost the second 25-23, and then somehow the third game score was 21-8. Not really sure what happened against the uh, Dutch yesterday, and that's... Um, round one match but certainly an hour of play 11, 6, it's early on in the week but an hour of play is not ideal to set you up for a round two match against the number 10 seeds anyway so it's the Hong Kong pair Li Chun Hei and Chow Hoi Wa that lead us into the mid game interval five points in front then at 11-6 It's former international great um, Chinese player Chen Feng, who's uh, coaching. getting around the head for that straight smash like you mentioned earlier so quick on his feet that was exactly the playing style that uh, earned them the crown in, uh, in Sydney at the Australian Super Series two years ago came from behind there quite a big surprise that they could win that tournament but they really um, really played well as we discussed yesterday sometimes when you when you make that breakthrough then um, expectations rise and attention rise and you really want to do well and 
Maybe you also start practicing a bit more and, and uh, I don't know if there's been um, injuries involved. Um, Yeah, it could be. It's interesting to see how some of these young professionals handle that kind of pressure. We were talking yesterday about how Kidambi Srikanth arrived on the scene in the same similar sort of fashion, just seemed to soar up through the world rankings very quickly with that incredible style of play of his. And then suddenly he's this superstar in India and such a big name. And Yeah, and, and for, for um, Chunhe and, and Choi Ho, why uh, suddenly Olympics became a possibility after winning that uh, Australian Open um, was part of the qualification period and I think maybe the focus could have changed to to qualify for the Olympics and then you qualify and you get a, a unique experience and we've seen that for a number of players that um, it takes some time to to get back to business after the Olympics. So, such a big event for um, a number of the players. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you hear top-level sports stars talking about getting to a moment like an Olympic final, for example. And even if they come away with a success, it's such an anti-climax the following week to then go back into training. It's almost as if, what are you suddenly training for? Yeah. You've just had that career-defining moment. What's next? I mean, it's hard to pick yourself up and train again. And some of these guys, looking at Lee chun Hei right there, former world champion, doing so well at such a young age. He has everything given to him, the money and the fame perhaps, and then to keep competing at this level when perhaps he's not getting that kind of success anymore. Um, Lee chun Hei. Lee Chun Hei, sorry, yeah, the Hong yeah, Kong guy. Yeah. Yes. Luck from the net cord slowed the shuttle. Lee Chun Hei trying to turn that one back across court, but it was a bit late. Chinese Taipei pair doing well here to stay within touching distance of this pair from Hong Kong. So it's over 16 11. I must say it's one of the uh, upcoming nations um, in badminton uh, at the moment, the uh, Chinese Taipei. The, 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 a number of participants, um, you know, talked about him yesterday because he's one of the only players wearing glasses, Chen Hongding and uh, Wang Qilin, they're not at this, in this tournament, but uh, also a very accomplished mixed player. Um, they have two really strong men's singles players, women's singles, number one in the world at the moment is from China's Taipei, so they really have um, a, a whole bunch of players uh, doing well. And that's that's nice to see. We've seen it with Japan, of course, who's dominating uh, with uh, lots of um, strong players. It's nice to see um, nations uh, emerge and sort of get. So it's not a, a one-player uh, system, but um, it's a it's a batch of players coming up playing well. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned Japan there. Such strength in depth in particularly the women's game over the last couple of years singles and level doubles oh so, so is fold so the waist yeah, racket perhaps again not facing in a downward angle as she made contact with the shuttle no, it was a uh, struggle about the waist. Oh, it was? Yeah. yeah. Susan Taylor, a uh, service judge, uh, signaled that. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, 
Yeah, I was looking, Steen, at um, results in major tournaments in the last 19. few years, World Championships, Olympics, and what have you. It was almost an even spread of different nations in the previous major tournaments. If only Lee Chong Wei was able to pick up a gold medal, it would have been a different Service nation over. picking up every Wendy gold medal in the different Park. events. 30. And that's a far cry from, say, the last 20 years or so, where we've had nations like China dominate so much of the major tournaments. Do you yeah. see any reason for that, Steen, in particular, why suddenly China aren't quite the force they Service have been over. in, say, five or ten years before? 14, yeah, 20. I, I think uh, there are some reasons. So. Let's follow the... Uh, Match point, uh, the game points here. Then uh, maybe we can come back to um, to the, uh, the dynamics in in uh, top badminton. Oh, okay. What defense! Fantastic rally. And he's, he's still, still going. He's sitting there. Yeah. Well, uh, what a shame for the yeah, error at the forehand net in the end for Chang Sin Tian. But what a rally! Lee Chun Hei on the floor for a moment. I thought they'd squandered the opportunity. But somehow it kept going round the back from Chang Ko Chi. And it's the pair from Hong Kong that have taken the opening game in this round two mixed doubles match. Lee Chun Hei, Chow Hoi Wa Lee. With the game score there in 13 minutes of 21-14. Is in fact Chen Kang, uh, and it's coaching Lu uh, Chunhe and uh, Choi Hoi Wa. Part one, twenty seconds. Part one, twenty seconds. against uh, Thomas London. John Hals Christensen of Denmark played together with his partner Chen Hong Yong. Middle partnership. So, some strong pedigree in the coaching staff for Hong Kong, China in that case. Yeah, and, and the, the funny thing is that he's actually also coached Chinese Taipei, uh, Chen Kang. So pretty much as we expected the first game here, we Lobo know that um, play. they played twice before and um, straight game victories for, for the uh, pair from uh, from Hong Kong. So Great cross block there, yeah. Steen, yeah. from Chao Run. Hoi Wa, Love. and she followed it in so quickly. And they're just such a good pair when they're on form, in my opinion, because Choi Hoi Wa is really, really good at the net. And, Lee Chun Hui can, uh, Lee Chun Hei can, um, can cover perfectly for her and, and uh, maintain the attack from um, the back court. This actually is it's where I feel that they have some um, some difficulties, if you can say that. I mean, they're still very, very good in the defense, but but not as dangerous as if they play from above the tape. The coverage by. Uh, that's, that's going to be important for the two Changs if they can dominate the net and get the attack. He's a tall player, Chang Ko Chi. So, um, yeah, we saw that. There's, there's some possibilities. Chang was struggling, and Chang Ko Chi had the whole court to aim at with that forehand smash. Oh, that's a big miss. 
Survey's over. But, but to get back to four. this uh, with, with China dominating for uh, an era and so on, uh, I think it's really, really difficult to follow up on eras because you tend to focus so much on the uh, fantastic players that you have. And, and there's a chance that the whole system focuses a lot on, on these players and it's that they're dominant in, in practice and sort of not really um, so leaving much hope for some of the youngsters. I'm, I'm only Four. speculating right now. I don't know if that's happening uh, at all. I, I just think I've seen it on, on lower level that you, you um, have players that are really, really dominant and, and uh, in many ways they have to, to fade Four. away a little bit to, to make room for the youngsters. Uh, but I think China is in a great way and, and they still have some players for instance Jiang Nan who's uh, uh, Olympic gold medalist in men's doubles and mixed doubles and still playing and, and is not uh, old in any way and we saw Fu Haifang double Olympic gold medalist in men's doubles playing with him and sort of bringing uh, some of the youngsters up also Chai Yun when they've won when Chai Yun and Fu Haifang won their gold medal together they they teamed up with youngsters and, and tried to bring them up so so I think they, they, they're aware of the challenge, Team China, and, and doing everything they can, but it's also a very, very uh, exciting time we're witnessing here. We're witnessing, actually, Lin Dan, the legend, play. We're witnessing Li Chong Wei play. Uh, Chen Long, who's won two world championships Five, and an Olympic four. medal. They're all playing here right before our eyes, and, and that, that's fantastic. Fairly even stuff out here in game two, five, four. Some pretty incredible rallies and some very nice shot making from both pairs to this point. But yes, Dean, absolutely. Six, four. I've been noticing that although there might be something of a changing of the guard perhaps in Chinese badminton, the, the youth that is coming out of China once again, the 18, 19, 20 year olds, the performances we saw at the World Junior Championships from Chinese does tend to suggest that in a couple of years' time they might just be back in that position of dominance once more. But for the time being, we've still got players like Lin Dan and Li Chong Wei. We'll see Li Chong Wei play later on today. In Seven, fact, in a couple of matches, four. time for us here live on court number one. Fascinating prospect for me. He's up against Bryce Levedez once again. Smash speed from Lee Chun Hei, 357 kilometers an hour, Steen. He's not the tallest of players to generate that kind of racket head speed. Pretty incredible. Back on that court there. Potential opposition, Steen. We might, Five, if things go to plan later on today, for Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen, they might, well, they will be facing the winner of this match tomorrow in round three. If they win their match. If they win their match, of yeah, course. Yeah. Yeah. Have you spoken to those two players at all? Obviously, your Danish nationals. No, I haven't uh, Seven. spoken to them Seven. over here. Um, they've. Um, and I know the Danish team have been practicing for six, seven weeks towards this tournament, and uh, I think most of the players feel that they are in, uh, in quite good shape. Um, it's been so. As always, when you have a large team, uh, some small injuries, and so on. So definitely uh, looking forward to get started. Excellent attack here by uh, Li Chun Hei. See how quick he was on his feet up. And he is able to maintain it. No problem moving. Ah, that wasn't that big a move, but um, I've seen him jump almost from the middle and to the uh, sideline. 
so and still land in pretty good balance to, to keep on safe. playing. So that's also what you have to consider. That you might must expect the opponents to return a number of your shots. Service over. Seven. Eight. Yeah, absolutely. These top players, such tremendous athletes to be able to cover that distance in such a short time and then recover to be back in position for the next shot. And Ko Chi there just showing us that he can get onto the shuttle pretty early himself. Giving Chao Hoi Wa really no chance to return that forehand drive for the score. All square in game two at eight all. Just like you said, Dean, a better game for the pair from Chinese Taipei. They're really taking the yeah. attack to Hong Kong at the moment. They've got a two-point lead, and they're refusing to defend quite as much as they were in the opening game. Yeah, that's that's definitely the key for them to seek the initiative. Service over. Nine. Of the Hong Kong pair trying to be. Uh, the first doubles pair from Hong Kong to win a medal at the World Championships. No Hong Kong pair has ever reached the semi final. Ten four. Chinese Taipei, they, they have some tradition in, in the mixed doubles. They um, actually won the bronze in uh, 2010. Sheng Li and uh, Qian Yichen won the bronze medal in uh, Paris. Well, mid-game interval, game two, the Hong Kong pair are slightly in front, 11-10 at the break. Much better second end so far for Chang, Ko Chi and Chang, Sing Tian. Hot one, twenty seconds. Hot one, twenty seconds. Hot one, twenty seconds. Hot one, twenty seconds. Just yesterday, I have a feeling that there might be some slight drift in the hole. It's not a whole lot, I can tell you, compared to um, other Super Series uh, tournaments played in big arenas. But um, as far as we're concerned, the drift goes from the Hong Kong pair towards the Chinese Taipei pair. So they've got to be careful lifting, as we see here. Because the drift tends to take those shots long if you're not really, really uh, accurate. Yeah, we're not seeing many long of the back line at this end of the court scene, are we? Just a few at the far end, the top of the screen. Yeah. And a very slight drift yesterday left to right as we look at the screen as well, but only a yeah, couple of inches. Oh, oh. But still, for some players that are not used to playing in uh, these um, big arenas, it, it's still a challenge, and especially, it's, it, I mean, it's a challenge for everybody. 
but the more experienced players, they know how to handle the first couple of rounds here until you get a better um, timing on your shots. Got to be uh, a little bit more patient. Not go all out in the smashes and make sure that you maintain balance. That's the key to to um, setting yourself up for some points. Service over to our 13. A couple of rallies ago, seen. I think the umpire was giving Chan Ko Chi a small talking to for wasting time and receive of serve. I don't think there's anything serious in that, but she did say last warning. Service over, 14 to all. Good smash straight down the middle once more from Lee Chun Hei. Excellent. 15, Worked really well with that. Um, uh, it's a stroke before that to the baseline that uh, sets up an easy kill for Lee Chun Hei, and seems like he and uh, Choi have um, gained control over this second game 16, again. 12. Once more, they've got that lead. They need four points in front at 16-12. This match so far going the way we expected it to, based on previous performances and their performance in various international tournaments over the last year or so. The definite difference in well, quality of tournaments Chang Kochi and Chang Xintian are used to getting through to the weekend of tournaments, but international series type tournaments, the Finnish Open, Orleans International, the Italian International, whereas Li Chunhei and Chao Moi Wang, semi-final of that Asian Championship, quarter-finals in Malaysia and in Hong Kong, semi-final in the Korean Open. A big event, Super Series, Super Series Premier events. Second one, the follow up, the change of angle just to mix the attack up. Well, another serve into the net. There's a few we've seen so far in this match. Momentarily. Oh. Oh. That, was a, that was a big miss there. 16, it's on the uh, pink surface. I think he was expecting Chan Ko Chi to rush the net. He looked to be coming forwards and Li Chun Hei, at the very last second, trying to go over the top of him. Didn't quite connect cleanly with that shuttle. Important point here. No! Yeah. Definitely no! within striking distance now, no! Chang Ko Chi and, and Chang Xian Tian. And they can't take it too lightly, Choi and uh, Li. 18 14 lead. A 
she's on the floor once Good more. Defense. Chang Tien still <laughs> fighting from her knees. Oh, and still going the net good. How, how unlucky was that? She'd have done so well to stay in that rally as long as she had. There she is down. Down again. One, two, three. <laughs> And four, and then this one catches the net, and she's just yep. unable to get there. Alternative footwork. You move right knee, left knee, right knee, <laughs> and then hit it. But uh, it shows some um, fighting spirit. Yeah, absolutely. These two players, and I mean, they're still young, so there's no reason why sh they should not be able to 19, develop even further. 17. I'm beginning to suspect they almost train for that kind of rally in Chinese Taipei. One of my favorite men's doubles pair to watch, Li Yang and Li Xiaowei. Young, explosive, exciting guys. Almost every rally they seem to be on the floor defending. Well, that bit of luck has prevented a comeback, I think. The Chinese Taipei and it's Hong Kong back with that three point lead and have fought their way through to deserving a match point in this second round mixed doubles. Three match points then, Chao Hoi Wa with the serve. Surely it's all over, yes. Lee Chun Hei finishes with a forehand clip smash, and it's all over this week, this tournament for this pair from Chinese Taipei. Solid performance, of incredible attacking, particularly from Lee Chun Hei. It's a great net play from his partner, Chao Hoi Wa. Straight games then in just over 33 minutes. Lee Chun Hei and Chao Hoi Wa of Hong Kong progress to round three with a win. And that scoreline confirmed there, 21-14, 21-17. So it was a good fight, a much better second game from Chang and Chang of Taipei, some good fighting. Let's take a look at some of the best of the action from that match. Well, there is Celtic Park, home of Celtic Football Club. We're in the Emirates Arena next door for day two of the Badminton World Championships. What a performance for Hong Kong in the mixed doubles. We just saw Lee Chun Hei and Chao Hoi Wa progress to round three. Next match up is a women's singles. We've got the number nine seed, Chen Yu Fei from China. She's up against another player from Chinese Taipei, Pai Yu Po. Well, a quick look at the very top of the women's singles draw, that section of eight. Well, you can see how tough it is. Chen Yu Fei, Pai Yu Po, one of them is going to face either. Akani Yamaguchi or Lena Kersfeldt in the next round. That particular match is up again in just a few matches time here live on court one as well. So we'll see how that section of the draw progresses live for you right here.